ipmnation.com. Live from the Outpost Studios in Columbus, Ohio, you're listening to All Natural Being with Brian Brody. Brought to you by ipmnation.com. Get ready for the gong heard round the world. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Natural Being with Brian Brody is designed to shake your sense of self to the core. It's full contact psychology with an empowering twist, a philosophical loofah for your soul. For those of you not ready or comfortable releasing your inner superhuman, listener discretion is advised. Here's your host, Brian Brody. Love this. So many buttons, so little time. Welcome and thank you for stopping by the number one rated show on IPMNation.com. We're talking episode 285 of the Gong Heard Around the World. And I think we heard it around the world tonight. You're into all natural being broadcast as it happens here on IPMNation.com and now simulcast on Facebook and YouTube for Fly on the Wall video live from the Outpost Studios. Mortal Up Radio here in Columbus, Ohio, with rebroadcasts on iTunes and iHeartRadio. Thank you very much for that. Greetings wherever you are here in the Garden of the Mortals. Top of the day from the truest parts of your mind, wherever you are. I'm fired up because life, it's your labyrinth, your shot at running the table. That's why we're here, always putting your heart's highest priority top of the list, placing your primal scream front and center in your life, where I believe it belongs reinstalling and reinstating the true wit and wisdom of your inner whisper. I think it's time to reboot your robust, to find your ferocious, to outbrutal the brutal in the cut and shuffle that fate deals you on a daily basis, and to bring your own bold once and for all. But before we hit it this evening, hello to my friends and family here in the United States, in Canada, Mexico, the UK, my good friends in Ecuador, China, the Philippines, Brazil, India, Australia, Germany, Italy, France, Nigeria, Turkey, Japan, Singapore, Thailand, Belgium, Sweden, Israel, South Africa, Egypt, Puerto Rico, Kenya, the Netherlands, Colombia, Greece, Ireland, Peru, Poland, to those joining us from all over the globe, it truly is great to have you with us. And every evening, I'm fired up to be driving your bandwagon, to be your biggest fan, to be avidly you. That's why I wholeheartedly believe it's time to mortal up. What are we waiting for? So what do you say? Let's go kick in some doors. Thank you again for hanging out with us here this evening. And I just quickly, I want to make mention of it, uh, that we're moving ahead uh, as I said, uh, night before last, we're moving ahead with the plans of, of hashtag 81 to win. And that's going to be later this month over Labor Day. We're going to do a 24 hour live call in radio marathon. And that's going to be in preparation for the Guinness book record, you know, the world record book for Guinness that will be later uh, this I think it's going to be in December, probably. But we're going to use the 24-hour event coming up over Labor Day just to kind of test a little to see, you know, can I make it the full 24 hours? Can we do all these different things that we're we're planning? So we're moving right along. I got a lot of uh, great phone calls today and spoke to a bunch of different people that will come on, even some people that have agreed to come here in the studio and hang out with me while we do our 24-hour attempt. And see, that's kind of my way of, uh, of uh, warming up to them. So I go, oh, well, for, now that you're here for the 24 hours, ooh, can I get you to come back for any portion of the 80-hour event? See, a little bit of a method to my madness. But we're still going strong. Thank you for all the, the emails. Thank you for all the texts and all the ideas. I love the ideas that have been coming. And I love the idea 
but candidly, of you being one of the executive producers, of you saying, well, Brian, did you think about this? Did you think about that? What if you had this done? What if you had that done? Well, I've had suggestions from you could have your tattoos worked on. You could get a massage. You could get a pedicure. You could have your head buffed, right, like a bowling ball. Uh, you could have coffee delivered. You, one of the things, and, and I think I mentioned this the other night, is, you know, there's some people going, oh, well, you know, with a brain shunt, you might not be able to stay Right? Vertical for 24 hours, let alone 81 hours to win, right? That's where the hashtag 81 to win comes in. The record is 80 hours and five minutes. So I figured, look, if you're going to beat a record, at least do it by 55 minutes. That's what I'm thinking. So, but what we're going to do in an attempt to quiet the critics that say, oh, you know, you got a brain shunt there. You got a snorkel, garden hose sticking out the top of your head. W- what are you going to do? I'm going to get one of those inversion chairs, you know, <laughs> excuse me, where you hook your feet, you hang upside down so I can get the spinal fluid heading the other way down the shunt. So that was another great idea. Thank you for everyone uh, that made mention of that and keep them coming. I like the idea of the map of the globe where we go after uh, a, a, a having a call from every country in the world. I thought that would be uh, really cool as well. So thank you, everyone, for all your suggestions. Let me jump to the feed real quick. Jenny, good evening. Hello. Thank you for joining us here on All Natural Being. Henry, thank you for joining us, sir. Nice to see you as always. And I should make mention of the fact that a part of the build-out of the studio, I could not have done this if it weren't for Henry Noel and most certainly uh, the good folks of Rita being one of them also and Wayne, uh, but the good folks at Transitional Radio, when it came time to build out the studio to be able to go for the, uh, I guess I can't say gold because it's not the Olympics, but right, to be able to go for the world record, the good people at Transitional Radio were over the top helpful in making that happen. So thank you so very much uh, from the bottom of my heart. Let me also, speaking of Wayne, good evening, Wayne. Nice to see you. Philip, hey, I hope everything went well last night with your company, Philip. Thank you for joining us as as long as you could. Uh, also, Kelly, good evening. Nice to see you. Thank you for your time today. Uh, John, hello. Hi, everyone. Hope you all are having an amazing day. That's very nice, John. Thank you very much. Rita, thank you for joining us here on All Natural Being. And as I said, Rita, for you and all the gang at Transitional Radio. Thank you so very much for everything that you've done. A big hello right back to you. Everything you've done for making this uh, this dream, this goal, this, well, you know, a reaction to being rejected uh, by a local radio station. I mean, truth be told, just between us, that's what it's all about, right? R- right? So if someone says, eh, yeah, we don't want you on our property. We, you don't have the talent to be a radio guy. So, of course, as one would, as you would, we just decided to go for, you know, just... <laughs> Decided to go for the world record. So thank you very much for that. I could not have pulled it off without you all. All right, Dana, good evening. Nice to see you. David Ray Bowman, nice to see you, brother. Thank you very much for joining us here at All Natural Being. And Dana, thank you for your counsel the other day. And, you know, Dana came up with some great ideas as well. Shane, good evening. Thank you for watching, hanging out. Thank you for calling in last night, Shane. I learned a lot. I'll tell you, more times than not throughout the day, I found myself going, you know what? This is what Shane meant by centering. And and I have to tell you, Shane, I really enjoyed your thought last evening about, you know, when it comes to meditation, when it comes to centering, some people may do the breath. Some people may have a mantra. I like to think of the mantra as thank you, right? Gratitude without a target, but just thank you, a general sense uh, a general overwhelming sense, a mouth-watering sense of gratitude. But you raised a very valid point last night. And when you said just have a, a, a thought or a memory, a happy thought of a memory of the time in the past when you felt connected, when you felt that sense of equilibrium, when you felt your all-natural being, when you felt the balance of your wild at the core. Just have that picture in your mind. And I thought that was a great a great bit of advice. So thank you, Shane, very much. John says, go yo local businesses and see what kind of goodies they can give away. You know what I was thinking, John? And I don't know if anyone in the Columbus area, I should probably talk to Kelly, I was thinking maybe seeing if... Uh, you know, I could get like a lawn watering company to come over and squirt me with a cold hose or something like that. Because here's my understanding. And you go, well, Brian, how could you do a radio show if you're going to be squirted down with a cold hose? Here's uh, my understanding of it. Every four hours, you get a 20 minute break, right? So when people going, oh, you know what I mean? How are you going to do this? Every four hours, you get a 20 minute break. So what I thought I would do is I'd go, okay, great. So that, you know, being a 
crack mathematician that I am, that's like a 40-minute break, eight hours, or an hour break every 12 hours. So maybe during the hour break, well, I'll just run up real quick to the front yard and have them hose me off. Or I'll think, you know, that's when I'll be getting them a, a, a massage or a manicure or learning yoga. Maybe if I could get like a bumper pool table, we, I could have, <laughs> right? Someone said, why don't you get a bumper pool table? Well, because I can't afford a bumper pool table, other than the fact that I suck at bumper pool. But that would be a little something we could do with the different studios here. Um you know, we could do uh, a bumper pool. So that was another uh, idea that we're working on. Laura, good evening. Thank you um, so very much for joining us here at All Natural Being. And I have to tell you, well, I say to my friends, and, and, and I don't know if you've, you've bought into this of late, but I've said uh, to, you know, most certainly my kids, oh, it's not polite to be looking down and on your phone, uh, you know, when you're talking to people. But just to give you an idea what's going on, I try, until I figure out a better way of doing it, I try to respond to everybody in the thread. So here I am breaking my own rule of reaching down and saying hello to everyone, uh, you know, or paying attention to the phone. Good evening, Mike Warren. Thank you for joining us, brother. Nice to see you. Well, I'm breaking my own rule by reaching down and, and, and trying to answer everyone here in the thread. All right, we've got a call coming in. Where are we going? Here we go. Good. Let me try this. Good evening. Welcome to All Natural Being. Who we got? Hey, Brian. Steve Parker, how are you? Hey, Stephen. How are you, sir? I'm great. Great. Well, you know, I was just telling everyone uh, about our bid for the record. And you should know that Stephen, ladies and gentlemen, if you, ha- if you don't know Stephen, he and his father Gordon are the big wigs at uh, tryh2.com. So when it comes to talking about the potions... When it comes to talking about, right, the different things that I'll be using. I said the other day, Stephen, uh, my new definition of surf and turf is the, 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 the wheatgrass juice powder uh, and some of the spirulina uh, that you all have. So uh, it's nice to be able to get to talk to you and to thank you in person. Thank you publicly uh, for sponsoring us. And, uh, and, you know, my crazy, <laughs> my crazy <laughs> attempt. <laughs> I say that, right? I can barely breathe. Uh, my crazy attempt to go for an 81-hour record for being on the radio, doing a live call-in nonstop. So thank you very much for everything uh, that you guys are doing for me. How's everything going at tryh2.com? Yeah, no, thanks for having me on. Uh, it's a great pleasure. Uh, everything's doing well. Um, we've got an awesome lineup. Uh, I would say for myself, for the past decade, I've kept to a healthy diet and continue to work out daily. Uh, for me, it was until I hit a plateau and thought to myself, how can I give my body the edge without taking a bunch of man-made supplements? All right. How do I, how do I boost my body's natural efficiencies? Essentially, how do I live healthier and longer? Um, and to your point, that's when uh, my father discovered molecular hydrogen and sure. introduced me uh, to molecular hydrogen. So for those of you uh, looking for information on what exactly is molecular hydrogen and the benefits it has to offer, uh, we encourage everyone to visit www.tryh2.com. And you know what I will tell you, Stephen, that not only uh, did I learn about molecular hydrogen, and I do it every day in terms of the rejuvenation tablets, what that molecular hydrogen is doing for me, but also I know you have like BioPro Plus. And I have to say that since I got out of my first surgery and through all the other surgeries, for that matter, BioPro Plus um, um, from Alternative Health Concepts has been another staple of my diet, if you will. And I plan on using all of this cool stuff, right, as I ramp up the CBD uh, that you and I were talking about the other day. Some of the other supplements, the stuff from Maju, most certainly BioPro Plus and, and uh, Rejuvenation. And, the, you know, I'll show everyone the the hydrogen inhalation machines uh, that I use in the morning as a part of my meditation. Shane, we were talking about meditation last night. I did it, uh, I do it a little differently, and I start off, and, and maybe, Stephen, you could comment on this. I start off, guys and girls, I start off every morning with 30 minutes of of using the inhalation unit from tri the, the to inhale hydrogen. And people go, well, how do you have 30 minutes? Well, that's a part of my meditation, right? It's 30 minutes, Stephen, that I set aside at the beginning of each morning just to treat myself. And, you know, whether you ever try uh, hydrogen inhalation or whether you just decide you're listening, you go, you know what? I'd like to treat myself for 30 minutes every morning. 
So as soon as I get out of bed, I make my way downstairs, and I know that for 30 minutes, I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to be narcissistic. I'm going to be a little hedonistic, and I'm going to focus on putting my heart's highest priority top of my list. And I do it, Stephen, with a drink of, uh, of, of water with the rejuvenation tablets, the hydrogen in there. And I do it uh, most certainly with the hydrogen inhalation unit from TriH2.com. And it's a great little way for me to jumpstart the day and say, oh, great, let me rejuvenate. As, as Rita says, it's a wonderful way to rejuvenate your body and your brain. It's absolutely true. It allows me to rejuvenate my sense of self, pat myself you know, a little bit of pat myself on the back, give myself a kick in the butt, whatever you want to call it. But I've incorporated it, Stephen, into my morning meditation. And then again in the evening when I'm trying to wind down, I do the same thing. So for me, well, thank you, one, because it's become an integral part of what I do to bookend my days. Hey, more than welcome. That becomes a question, too, of what is 30 minutes when we're on the focus of the therapeutic benefits of an all-natural approach to bolstering your immune system? Sure. Well, I, I say all the time, Stephen, that, you know, 30 minutes in the morning, in the afternoon, and then doing some things during the day, right, with some of the supplements, some of the things. Well, I'm just, I'm focused on making my immune system my new best friend. And before everyone goes, oh, well, you know, why would you, uh, uh, why would you do that? Uh, Jenny asks, is it helpful for people with breathing issues? I, I, I would say absolutely, Jenny, but Stephen, I'll have you answer that here in just a minute. But for me, the doctors coming out of my surgery said, look, your body your immune system will do everything it can to heal the effects of, a, of, of having a golf ball sized brain tumor removed. But you have to put out some of the little spot fires, some of the little brush fires, some of the more chronic illnesses going on in your body. You've got to put some of those out. You've got to tamper those down. And if you just help your immune system, it will rise to the challenge of clearing up three brain surgery. So I'm all over that. And that's why to me, you know what I mean? That's why to me, it's been so important to find ways. And, you know, we talk all the time about uh, chronic diseases and chronic illnesses and, uh, you know, CBD with all the, uh, all the hype about hemp, but what CBD can actually do for you if you have chronic pain. So for me, it's a way of just giving my immune system a level playing field. Right, Stephen? That's what, for me, that's what it's all about. Not about the potions and the pills and all the rest of the things. Big picture, giving my immune system a level playing field. I couldn't have said it better myself, Brian. Our body's so distracted fighting everything just from daily life that how do you boost your immune system to battle uh, some of the bigger issues that are going on in the body? And, and you know, for me, Stephen, when you say that, you know, that we have to battle this, I wasn't aware of all the toxins, all the pathogens you know, in, 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 in topical treatments for our furniture, the foods we eat, the colors of the dye, the air we breathe, some of the, some of the, uh, some of the things that we drink, some of the things that we ingest, all these toxins, it's no wonder. Like, I think your dad told me once that a hundred years ago, like the runs, like if you spent all day in the bathroom, that was one of the top 10 killers. But now you look at all these chronic diseases and it makes me think, Maybe our immune system didn't evolve to be able to, to by itself, handle all these toxins, all these environmental pollutants, all these other things. So it's been a real learning curve for me, not just using the different products that you have. And TriH2 is like an umbrella of all the different companies. They call it their Super 7 protocol, but all the different companies that are involved. For me, it's just been that way of beating back those environmental toxins and giving my immune system, at li right, right? Why go into life with your immune system uh, with both hand, both of its hands tied behind your back? <laughs> right? Why wait to be sucker punched, right? By all the things going on in your environment. So to me, it was a huge benefit to learning those things. But Stephen, let me get you. Let me get you back to Jenny's question: Is it helpful for people with breathing issues? You know, the, the, all the studies. I think you said there's been like a thousand studies now that talk about the therapeutic benefits of molecular hydrogen. And I know you'd want to say, oh, well, what's the specific breathing issue? But in general, does it help people uh, with breathing issues? Absolutely. I mean, molecular hydrogen alone has proven to be a very powerful uh, element. Uh, it's the first element in the periodic table. It's, it's so simple, but it's so powerful. And there's roughly over a thousand articles today on the benefits molecular hydrogen has to offer uh, on health-proving effects. Um, 
again, I would encourage everyone to, to visit the triH2.com website, and we have a plethora of information just on molecular <laughs> hydrogen alone, um, not including some of the other powerful products that we have listed up there from which you've commented, Brian, uh, CBD Pure, um, BioPro Plus with bolstering uh, body's own immune response, sure. uh, Maju Superfood, best <laughs> lineup of health-improving products we've ever come across. And can I, can I tell you this, just because I don't want to make this all about me, can I tell you that I've been using the CBD on your uh, uh, CBD from your site? I've been using it with my dog. And before you go, well, what do you mean? You're, you're giving these? Well, there's a CBD Pure, right, uh, for pets. And when he came back from the vet a couple of weeks ago, they go, well, you know, when you're 10, 11 years old and you're a white lab, that's like 475 in human years, I guess. I don't know what the math is, but it's really up there. And they said, here's the beginning stages of arthritis. And I can tell you with the CBD for pets, within four days, Stephen, he was bringing me the ball. He was running. He was jumping. You, you wouldn't hear him during the middle of the night just plop himself down onto the floor. You know what I mean? He just... He, seen, he was wagging his tail. He, the kids are loving it. He just, he seems to have his youthful vigor back. So I'm all over it. And people might be going, oh, you know what? I, I don't know. CBD, is that even legal? Yes, because it's, you know, we talked about it being um, uh, from the hemp plant, you know, all the hype about hemp. Sure. But maybe you yeah. want to, maybe you just want to say, great, let me try it out with my cat, with my dog, uh, with my pets, because it's made a huge difference in our pet's life. That's fantastic. That's the great thing about CBD. CBD. Uh, it's a strain of hemp that does not produce any psychoactive effects uh, and has strong medicinal and therapeutic effects for many conditions. Uh, and the best part is totally legal in all 50 states. Isn't that something? You know, and you say, well, the good side is that it's not, uh, uh, you know, there's no, none of that THC. And for my friends that are into the THC, they'd probably go, well, that's not really the good side. But for the rest of us, <laughs> right? Um, and let me also say this. You know, Shane brings up a valid point. And then, Stephen, if you would uh, reach out to Jenny. She says, talk to me about this later on. I wonder if it can help uh, uh, the incurable, as you know. Um, so would you talk to her and, and uh, give her the contact information over in the thread? But I also wanted to make mention of the fact that Shane says emotional toxins can be just as hazardous to your well-being. And I call them, Shane, philosophical pesticides. You're absolutely right. And what I've found, though, is in terms of doing this meditation in the morning, doing some of these different things um, uh, that I do to make my immune system my new best friend, it's philosophically good for me as well. Because if you can't take care of yourself, I think someone said here in the thread, if you can't take care of yourself first, and I know, Stephen, people are going to go, well, that's just selfish. That's just uh, narcissistic. That's just, and I'm like, yeah, great, good. Yeah, mark me down. I'll take two helpings of that. That's good. Don't forget to throw in a side of hedonist, right? But for 20 minutes a day, or for me, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening, propping up my immune system, both physically and philosophically, puts me in a better position to do the help I want to do in the world the other 23 hours of the day. Yeah, you know, other than six hours for sleep. You know what I mean? So do the math. But it leaves me in a better position when I make sure that I'm firing on all cylinders. I think I'm, allowed to, I'm still allowed to use a motor metaphor, aren't I? I can say firing <laughs> on all cylinders, right? If I'm firing on all cylinders, it puts me in a better position to be there to help other people, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. I've had a very similar story with some of my close friends. Uh, raising families, young children, spending most of their time with the kids, uh, where I'm off at the gym getting in the best shape that I can and telling them, what's just 30 minutes to hit the gym? This is a very similar story that they've been able to convert, hit the gym 30 minutes, and they, they feel in the best, uh, best condition of their life. And now this is like the next step on how do we get our bodies in the best shape possible, not just on the physical outside, but also on the internal yeah, and that's a good point. And I think also to Shane's point, you know what I mean? That's what we do in terms of both uh, physiologically and philosophically. Because mm. if you here's one of the things that I've found about chronic diseases, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. When they just seem to drag your butt down, if you're always in pain, I've got friends with fibromyalgia. If we got, you know, I've got uh, friends that suffer from all these different, all the things on the list of chronic diseases. Sure. That when uh, Shane talks about it philosophically, you just, it just. You get sick and tired of being sick and tired. 
I guess, is at least what I found, right? So that it right. does help you in both ways. And in those times where you're like, eh, yeah, I'm done. I'm going to do what I can to make my immune system my new best friend. Absolutely. Well, Stephen, thank you so much. And please thank Gordon. And thank you all for, the, uh, for sponsoring us. And, and I'm looking forward to it. I, I am absolutely confident that, <clears throat> you know, standing up or hanging upside down, I'll be able to pull the 24 <laughs> hours and then get ready for the 81 to win. But I'll be doing it uh, with the products from ChaiH2.com. So thank you so very much. And uh, if you would, make sure that uh, you and Jenny are connected so that we can figure out exactly uh, what she's talking about and see what we can do. But please tell your dad, I said howdy, and thank you all again. The website is tryh2.com. If you listen to the, some of the uh, audios over there, yeah, you may recognize the voice. That's how excited <laughs> I am about TriH2. But, Stephen, thank you much. I super appreciate you calling in. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to talk to you again. All right, brother. Farewell. All right. Don't for, I should have mentioned this earlier. Don't forget, you can call us toll free 833-GO-BU, 833-462-3968. If you want to give us a call, uh, please do so. And again, thank you to Stephen and Gordon from TriH2.com because I'm going to do this, right? And, and, and I, l- let me also say that I appreciate, you know, we were talking about, uh, We were talking about Squeegee TV and ramping all this up last night. We talked about how to be able to provide that programming. We were talking about all those different things. And and I really super appreciate those people that are saying, okay, well, you know, you got to kind of watch what's going on, you know, with your system. How are you going to be able to handle this? And I don't go into this lightly. And I'm doing what I can to make sure that we're going to be able to do just that that. So I, I, I can't thank everyone enough for, you know, just kind of taking it in and going, all right, Brian, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Are you, are you watching out for your health? And I absolutely am. You know, one of the things we've talked about having nurses or we've talked about having doctors come over and every so often uh, check the condition that I'm in. So we're building all that in. And, and, and so, although I said I wouldn't, I don't want to talk, I don't want to make the whole show about my attempt, but what I would ask us here in the thread what is it going to take for you to put your heart's highest priority top of the list, right? If I'm the guinea pig, if I'm the crash test dummy, right? If I'm, if, if I'm the one that says, okay, great, well, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a try. What would it spark you to do, do you suspect? And for me, I know the whole thing was built out of me being turned down by a local radio station. I get that, right? I get that just the way I am. But what might it spark you to do? What is something you've always wanted to do? What is your heart's highest priority? What is your primal scream all about? And whether we do it here in the thread, or I'm hoping to encourage you to call in at some point doing our 24-hour attempt, or even the, the 81 to win, I'd love to hear about your brand. I'd love to hear what you've got going on. Dana, why? Well, look, let me just say, I think I can say this. Uh, Dana has already agreed to call in, and I know she's working on some great comedy, right? So I want to be able to, to plug everything Dana's doing. I know Kelly's going to call in. I, I know Henry's going to call in. Um, I hope Shane calls in, especially talking about being centered. So I would love it if we could use this little attempt, you know, Brian being the hot head that he always rails against. Oh, well, you wouldn't let me into your station uh, to be a non-paid intern shoveling your sidewalks this winter. All right, then here's what I'm going to do. Well, I get all that. But what could it spark you to do? And if it sparks you to do that, I would love to hang out with you and hear all about it. You know, Janelle, I'd like to hear about your photography. John, I'd like to hear uh, what you're into. Henry, I know, um, and Rita and Wayne will be talking about a a transitional radio and all the different things uh, that you have going on. I I had an honor today to read uh, a presentation that uh, Henry Noel will be giving uh, this weekend, and I was just blown away by it. I can't wait, right? I can't wait. Um, I'm there for you. Thank you, Shane, very much. When is the 20? Thank you, Shane. I appreciate it. Uh, the 24 hour show, John, is going to be my sense is was talking uh, today about it. My sense is it's going to be Sunday, the second at 10 a.m. through Monday, the third Labor Day, the third at 10 a.m. So I think that's going to be uh, the 24 hours. So we're really uh, looking forward to that. Um, so in any event, what I wanted to say was let's think about putting your heart's highest priority top of your list. And for this particular show, to be able to call in, what is it that we can highlight that you're doing? 
Right? People say, oh, you're, you're making the world a better place? Well, I'm interested in you making your world a better place. The rest of the world will take care of itself. But for 20 minutes a day, 172nd of your day, what can we talk about that will help make your world a better place? That's what I want these interviews to be about. I want people calling in and going, well, Brian, I'm working on this or I'm working on that. And I'm hoping, you know, after he gives the big presentation this weekend, I'm hoping Henry uh, will call in and let us know, right, after the big, uh, the big presentation. He'll call in and let us uh, – I don't want to out him. I don't want to say what he wrote about today. But I'd love it for him to call in and go, here's what it's all about. Here's what transitional radio is going to be about, right? And then we, we just kind of decided amongst ourselves to extend that same kind of thing to everyone else. What is your heart's highest priority? What is your primal scream? What is your wild at the core all about? Call in. Do me a a, a solid, right? Do me a favor. Call in. Hang out with me for 30 minutes, right? Help keep me awake. Help keep me excited. Help keep me going. You know, help me write some shtick uh, right in the middle. And then is 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 a thank you. Oh, I've got something else I want to talk to you about. Um, I'm working on a deal with my favorite uh, snack fruit, True Fru. So not only if you call in and hang out or stop by and hang out with me uh, for a 30-minute segment, not only do you get the True Fru, I'm hoping you're going to be able to say, Bri, here's the, what I'm launching. Here's what I'm doing. Here's what's important to me. Could you give a shout-out to a friend? Could you give a shout-out to a family member? And I know you're going to laugh. You're going to go, Bri, you're just learning this radio, and now you're going to learn how to make phone calls as well? Yes. Right. So what we're doing now is I'm learning with this phone plug-in how we can dial out from the studio. So you might call in and go, hey, Bri, I'd like to do, uh, you know, I'd like to wish happy birthday to my friend in wherever. Or I'd like to say hello to my kids going to college. Or, uh, you know, if you're a kid in college, I'd like to say, say hello to my parents busy working at home to pay for me to go to college. So we will have worked out all these different aspects of the show by the time the 20th hits, so maybe you could call in and we'll go, great, let's dial them on the phone. I'd like to also talk about if you know someone from another country, someone from other than the countries uh, that I mentioned, or some of the countries that are here in the thread. I know we have Ecuador. I know at times we have Australia. We have the UK. Um that are active right here in the thread. But if you know people from another country, I'd love to have our global map put up and truly make it the gong heard around the world and be able to talk to different people and go, oh, okay, what specifically are you working on today in your part of the world? So that's what we'd like to be able uh, to focus on. All right, don't forget, toll-free, 833-GO-BU, 833-462-3968. As Henry says, the most important person you can take care of is yourself. I'm absolutely with you because that sense of gratitude that you're left with when you do take care of yourself permeates out to other people. And whether you have an active intent of helping someone else in their life or they just see you and they go, wow, she's got it dialed in. You know what? He's pretty sharp. You give them permission to put their heart's highest priority top of the list, right? And then what kind of depression can we really have? What kind of outrage can we really have? I think a lot of the outrage we see everywhere. And as you know, <laughs> uh, I happen to live in Columbus, uh, the, uh, the uh, location of a pretty heated uh, political competition last evening, right? So, so I know a little bit of what I talk about, but you hear the people screaming and hollering and spitting and, and Twitter and Facebook and everyone's upset and everyone's worked up. And I'm thinking... What about your wild at the core? Your wild at the core has nothing to do with being all flabbergasted about a midterm, off-season, early August, when it was 95 degrees here yesterday, early August. And I saw something today where people were all upset saying the green candidate, they were busy slamming uh, uh, the green candidate. Uh, saying that uh, he was uh, 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 he was born of aliens and that it was a part of Russia. I'm afraid to go to the grocery store and buy Russian dressing anymore, right? Because someone's going to knock on my door. There's going to be, wait a minute, hold on, I've got it. Oh, there we go, here we go. Right? I go in, buy some Russian dressing. Next thing you know, FBI. That's not a drill. No, this is not a drill. That's right. FBI will be landing in my front yard going, we'd like to talk to you about collusion. For goodness sakes, really? The Green Party now and people and all the celebrities in Hollywood are lining up on Twitter to slam people that exercise their constitutional right to vote for whoever the heck they wanted to? Yeah, you know, well, yeah, his, his parents were aliens. And, uh, you know, they were tied to <laughs> they were tied to Russia. 
unbelievable. But I can tell you that they're not busy focused on their wild at the core. They're not busy focused on putting their heart's highest priority top of their list. It's just not happening if that's what you're thinking about. So I know you've got the energy. All you have to do is look in the press. All you have to do is watch the media. All you have to do, good evening, John. Thank you for hanging out with us. Incoming. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> John, I just played the helicopter noise. I hope you were, I hope you were here for it. Right? Yeah, drop that Russian salad dressing. Can't have that going. Right? And you know, and the Russian salad dressing always doesn't sit well with me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just learning these sound effects. It's great. I love it. I got a lot to learn between now and the 24 hour show. John, good evening. Thank you for watching us, hanging out with us here. Henry, I got your six. You know, Henry, I be- Jenny uh, says she's got your six. I believe that about Jenny. I really do. So, what is it? 833-GO-BU. 833-462-3968. If you want to give us a call here in the closing minutes, don't forget, we'll be on tomorrow night is Thursday. We'll be on Thursday. And then we take Friday and Saturday off because now we're broadcasting Sunday, right? Sunday through Thursday. Oh, a quick shout out also to Wayne. Wayne Noel, thank you very much. I super appreciate it. Uh, Wayne's been working really hard on the website and the app. And we'll, uh, by next week, I think we're going to have an Android app. And we'll have an iPhone, iPad app uh, for those of you that are like, oh, we really like, you know, someone said to me the other day, oh, we really like that virtual hitchhiker thing where we can just go out and about. Well, now it's going to come right to your phone. You'll be able to watch right on your phone. Well, who is this that's coming to say? Well, we have a special studio guest coming to say hello. Can I do this real quick? Come here. No, no, just for a second. You want to say, here we go. And now, here's a special studio guest. You can stand right there. There you go. You probably don't want to stand on the keyboard, but there you go. There you go. You look in there and say hi. Can you wave? Ah, hi. And look right over. Who's this right here? <gasps> yeah, no, that's you. Say, okay, good night. Say night-night. Yeah, (laughs) night-night. Okay. (laughs) Thank you very much for stopping. See, as I said, studio guests, we're looking forward to taking, uh, having anyone stop by, especially for the 24-hour show. So I suspect you're going to see a little bit more of her over Labor Day. Yes, good night. Thank you for coming by. Shane says, people are so upset at anything, they find scapegoats for their own insecurities and fears. Yes, I absolutely agree, Shane. And hi, Berlin. Mr. Henry says, hi, Berlin. She says hi and waves back at the screen, Henry. She is very much. Hi, Berlin. Miss Rita says, hi, Berlin, says the sweet girl. She's waving back at the camera as well. (laughs) Thank you, Shane, very much. Yeah, just one of the few uh, celebrities that will be popping up here uh, during our 24-hour episode. All right, so if you have any other suggestions of things that you think, oh, wow, you know, we could do that please go ahead, send me a, a, you can tweet, you can instant message me now, uh, you can send me an email, let me know what you're thinking about, but we're, what is it, today's the uh, the 8th, so what are we talking, you know, 20 some odd days away from our attempt, so anything that you can think of, and if you have, I saw Jenny, I think, in here earlier, talked about someone from the Netherlands, I believe, I saw that, it was a Male breast cancer survivor. I would love it. And a published author. I would love for him uh, to come on if he gets a chance. Jenny, thank you. That would be great. Thank you for mentioning that. And that's an example of what I'm talking about, right? Because if you're going to give me 24 hours, let's be honest, I'm the last person you want to hear blather on for 24 hours. But I'm thinking, oh, if we've got some other things that we can talk about, people that can call in, and then we can make a really positive impact in the lives of the people listening, that is going to be my goal. All right, so let's throw the number out there one more time before we get ready to wrap this up. 833-GO-BU, 833-462-3968. Of course, you know, we'll be talking to Henry Noel from Transitional Radio here uh, in the days ahead. So I'll be able to thank him in person for everything uh, that his company is doing to make this happen. Uh, And also Lee Rowley uh, from uh, sales Copy Academy uh, will be calling in as well so we can talk to him and thank him for what he's doing. And he's just a brilliant guy when it comes to writing a tagline. This is the guy that uh, that knows how to do it. So again, thank you for all the suggestions. And please, as I said before, about using me as the crash test dummy, using me as the, uh, the, 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 the what, the guinea pig, 
right? The hamster on the wheel. What is it? If I'm going to go, right? I say you can't spell Brian without the I and insane. If I'm going to do this and I'm going to make this work, what is it that you could do if you put your heart's highest priority top of the list? Right? Your primal scream. I want to hear about it. We, I want to interview you. I want to talk to you about it during our 24-hour run and most certainly as we ramp up to 81 to win later this year. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you all so very much. I super appreciate you hanging out here with us. And again, for all the suggestions, all the cool things uh, that we've talked about uh, and all the support from everyone here as we get ready uh, to do this, I super appreciate it. Tomorrow night, we'll talk a little bit about Squeegee TV because we've got some good news uh, coming up from there as well. And what we're going to be able to do in terms of these 10-minute packages called Grit to go over on Squeegee TV. And I think, eh, you know what? Why not try to do radio and TV uh, all at once? So we'll be talking a little bit about that uh, tomorrow night and how you could be involved in the launch of Squeegee TV as well. So I thank you all so very much for joining us here at All Natural Being. We'll see you tomorrow night and keep the suggestions, keep the ideas, keep the co-production coming. I'm really looking forward to what this is going to turn out to be. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so very much. We'll see you tomorrow night. IPMNation.com